I got into the craziest altercation with my dad, bro. He started talking so wild to me. I reached for my hip. I had that thing on me. I ain't had the, I ain't had the pistol on me. Nah, but I had that. I had that. But what you do though? What happened? Man, uh, he was talking, and I looked at his plate because he was eating. Like this is a real story. Yes. The greatest American alive. So he's sitting there eating his food, and I'm watching him eat his food, and I look at his plate, and I see a steak knife, and I see him looking at me, looking at the steak knife, because I'm being real, I'm being real offensive, okay? I'm being as offensive as any person can be to another person. So I'm watching him, watching his eyes. I look at, I see him, look at that plate. I said, you ain't got to worry about sticking me, nigga, shit. And so I went for my help. Next thing you know, I'm bleeding, huh? I got blood all on me, running all down me. I said, goodness gracious, huh? What happened, though? All I remember, that I got cut. <laughs> That's all. I remember that I got cut here. I was taught a very specific thing. My father told me that if a man says these words to you, he's trying to harm you and or kill you. Now, if you train me like this and then you use those words against me, all I know is one thing in my entire life. He ain't never used these words against me ever before. And so for whatever happened on this day, on this day, he has some on your mind. And when you said it, I want to take your life. You trained me that way. You raised me that way. Well, let me know what the words is, because I don't ever want to say the words on accident. <laughs> hey, if you if you ever call a man a bitch. Oh, yeah, I don't worry about that. Intent matters, you know? Intent matters. And Trauma. We... Trauma matters. What you've been through matters. These trigger words and these different experiences, and you have been conditioned. My words were, hey, he trained me. He told me if this thing happens, then this is how you respond. I even let it walk a, a few times because I was like, hey, man, I don't know. We'll, you know, sippy, sippy. I don't use any substance as an excuse. My behavior is my behavior no matter what I'm doing. I acknowledge that. I stand on that. I'm not going to try to hide behind any any substance. People be like, oh, was y'all drinking? Y'all was drinking? Man, we always drink. And that's what we do. We drink. And those words, those combination of words have never, ever came out of his mouth when we were drinking. And so what made today any different? So how do we move forward? Everyone was all hysterical. My mother and my sisters, they was all hysterical. Everyone got their hands in the air and they're looking at me. I'm like, man, I know for certain y'all know exactly how I was trained. Y'all know exactly what I am. And for you to expect me to be anything different than what I am, that's a problem. If you can't accept me for my whole self, then I don't know how to proceed forward. Because going forward, I'm going to continue to be the exact same person. If you put me in that situation again, one person might not be walking away. But what about society, though? Because society doesn't necessarily accept you for who you are. They try to fit you in the regular title. Oh, you're black. You're white. You're gray. You're brown. Whatever you want to call it. Every experience I have is an individual experience. With every person I meet, it's an individual experience. And I'm going to handle that person with, with whatever energy is required. I have a little principle inside my mind. I will meet or exceed whatever the energy is. And this is based on me understanding what, what's about to happen. You got big energy, man. I have to meet or exceed your energy. I have to. I mean, that's cool. But what about this, though? Like, what about shifting the energy? You don't necessarily want to meet. I'm just going to use positive and negative, right? I'm just using those as terms. But when you use positive and positive together, big energy and big energy together, you get bigger energy, right? So you use negative energy with negative energy, you get more negative energy. But to shift the dynamic, you have to meet it with opposite sides of the spectrum. Look, more specifically, when we're talking about human behavior, we're going to have to do some very specific things. Either number one, I'm going to have to, I have to persuade you or number two, I have to manipulate you. But that's that's shifting the energy. It's playing cognitive games. I'm thinking one step ahead of you. But in order for me to outthink you, that's me using more energy than you're using because you're operating at a base level. Why couldn't it just be communication, though? All these things, I mean, that'd be wonderful if people were oper operating on that type of level. But like I said, we got preconceived ideas. We got biases. We have trauma. And, you, and all this stuff, there's no way that you can communicate your whole life experience to me when I just met you. There's no way. I don't know the things that you're prejudiced against.